when we had last left Andreas. He finally sought out Sabat and had lunch with a man who had been traveling from quite far away. And during lunch, it involved having a meal and story time with some of the women and children of the town. It was a delightful little event that uh, revealed a little bit, but not too much, about the goings-on. Indeed, one of the kids had seen a mysterious ghostly figure as well at night, just as Andreas had as well. Or, <laughs> yeah, sure. And then also, upon returning back to home at night, to the Gertrude's home, it was there that Wojslav was chilling out and revealed that none other than the Archdeacon had already arrived early. Yes, preparing to be summoned, Andreas dreamed of... Dreamland, where he consulted his own mind and came to terms with what perhaps lie ahead, including his wife? <laughs> now was time to go look around town, maybe, and definitely be introduced to the Archdeacon. This is Pentiment. Welcome back. Let's head to the left, right? You know, side-scrolling games, how many times do you head to the right? Let's go to the left. Hey, Andres. Hello, Andreas. Okay. Anyone else out here? Hmm. Does not seem like it. Zimmerman House. We can check in here. Hey, Otto. Hey, Andreas. Oh. Old Otto ain't here. Maybe he's still upstairs snoozing. Okay. Sure. Should we go over to the church in Druckers? No, I think not. Let's try and go up this way. There we are. Central town. Good. Can check in at the bakery. Hey, Ulrich. God bless you, Andreas. Anna, you still got my hat? Hi! Or... <laughs> Gret. Hello, Andreas. Okay. Sure. Head on down here. Feel like we won't have any... Anything interesting occur until we... Get closer by. Oh, we could examine Lucky. We could watch. Leave me be, Andreas. He's not being forthright with me, and he seems eager to get away. If I wait here, maybe he'll leave and I can observe his actions. But should I do it now? It will probably take a while. Follow Lucky now. I'll observe Lucky later. Huh. Maybe observe later. Because what if we have another opportunity to do it after the Archdeacon is here? I don't know. Hey, Klaus. Morning, Andreas. Father Thomas. God be with you, Andreas. Let's head north by the mill. Let's see what they have to say, if anything. Else. Hello, Master Mahler. Paul. Oh. Um. Hello. Paul, right? I don't think we've talked before. I'm Andreas. I'm staying with the Gertners. Oh, but you're not a farmer. Why are you living with the farmers? They're letting me board with them while I work in the Abbey Scriptorium. You're a monk? I'm an artist. Oh, like you do drawings? Drawing, painting, calligraphy. If it goes in a book, I can put it there. Oh, is that... How do you get money? What? The Abbey pays me, of course. Art is a job, just like being a miller is a job, but it's also a calling. People need beauty as much as they need bread. Ah, uh, our reactivity there to being super into craftsmanship. I didn't... my dad says... my dad says drawing's stupid. It's not worth anything. Your dad's wrong. <laughs> Do you like to draw, Paul? 
Your dad's wrong. Not where he can hear. Sorry, sorry. Do you like to draw, Paul? Yes. More than anything. But I have to do it where Dad can't see. He gets mad. I'm sorry to hear that. But if it means a lot to you, maybe he doesn't need to know. Say nothing. But if it means a lot to you, maybe he doesn't need to know. Can I tell you a secret? Sure. Sometimes I draw in the ruins in the meadows where Dad can't see. Oh, that's you. The Romans would have been honored. They love defacing monuments. <laughs> what do you draw? Let's let's say something that Paul will appreciate. What do you draw? Cats. Mom. I don't know. Stuff. Ellipses. I probably shouldn't be talking to you. Dad won't like it. You're probably right. I'll go. Until later, Paul. And hey, keep drawing, alright? I will. Bye. Aw, oh, Paul is good. Of course. Huh. That tracks. Okay. Let's pet this lovely dog again. There you go. Oh, Look, there's a fun-loving cow or something out there as well in the far distance. You know, I gotta say, the animation is, like, really good, right? Like, obviously, they couldn't hand-animate fucking everything, right? And they probably very likely do this, but I just want to point out, like, I'm not even sure how they accomplish it because I'm not, like, super into, like, animation or art or whatever, right? But you can even see it here very clearly on the windmill, or of course whenever characters move around. It's something to do with the frame rate or whatever. But I want to describe this style of animation. And it's, um... Like... Hopefully you know what I'm talking about, but it's like this very cheap animated style. Like, not, not necessarily cheap in like, oh, it's shittily done. But literally, I think the goal of it is to be cheap, right? Like, the animators who do it, I believe, are capable of more. But they are sort of, like, restrained either by budget or by time or both, right? Uh, but it, it's like where... Like, okay, here, for Andreas, right? Um, when he moves and stuff, right? In this sort of style that I'm talking about, it's very floaty. And, like, rather than, like, clearly animating bends in his legs, right? There would just be, like, I don't know how to how to describe it, but it would be, like, his legs are just, like, floating around. Like, like you're in Photoshop or whatever, and you sort of, like, drag at the ankle, and you just kind of, like, make him kick. You know what I'm talking about? Sort of like a paper doll. Does that make sense? And this kind of does do it, but it's very unnoticeable and, like, I don't know, there's something about it that makes it way more, like, satisfying and snappy to look at rather than, like, what I'm describing because it's always so floaty is my problem with it, right? Like, the issue I have with that, like, animation style is that it looks like all the characters are just getting ready to float off and everything. I, like, like I said, I'm not super versed in, in any of this. But, like, I think, yeah, very clearly in his arm here... Right? It's like there's there's joints and stuff in his arm and just the way it like moves and animates. Right? In in like a a style of animation that was more cheaply made and didn't have the time or budget for the attention to detail. Or maybe even skill. I've no idea, frankly. <laughs> but um you would see it like wave with like more frames? I don't I don't know how to describe it. Hopefully what I'm describing is coming through. But there's been, like, a lot of animated shows and stuff uh, that try to pull this off and try to get away with it. And it looks, I feel, really, really bad. Like, um, I think kids shows are more liable to get away with it because kids will put up with it. Because there's just not as much stuff made for kids that's, like, intriguing to them. So as long as it's baseline intriguing to, to a kid, 
Like, especially the younger and younger you go, as far as kids are concerned, they're more likely they're, they're to be like, yeah, okay, sure, I'm, I'm into this or whatever, right? But, like, it's especially notable in, like, uh, adult animation and stuff. <laughs> like, adult animation. Not, like, horny animation, but, like, more adult-themed animation and whatnot. I, I, I don't know how to explain it. Maybe it's just as well that it works incredibly well with the art style, too. Like, there's subtle things about, like, how snappy it is, the movement, right? Like, like, like I mentioned, the bending in, like, Andreas's knees and stuff, like, at his real-ass joints. But it's not just that. It's the way that, like, you can see his hair, like, bounce a little bit when he comes to a rest. Or, like, on his tunic or whatever, his, like, skirt thing here at the ends of the pleats. You can see it kind of ruffle in movement, right? And I feel like that's, like, such a subtle distinction that really makes it feel a lot better and snappier. You know? It's really difficult to put my, my finger on what exactly it is as someone who doesn't know what the fuck I'm talking about, right? But I feel like a great example is the windmill and how it, it sort of clicks through f frames, right? Like, it has a noticeable frame rate. I don't know. It, it, it's just really pleasing to look at, right? It's, it's, um... I don't know, like almost like the birds or, or like the, the animated whoosh of the, the air. Like it's a lot smoother animated and all of that, right? Which I think works for like these incidental things in the background and everything. But I don't think it would work for like Andreas and all that without him having more different, I don't know, frames of art, of unique art rather than frames that are just animation rather than art. Fuck, I don't know if any of that makes any sense. I wish I could think off the top of my head of a show that does it badly. Oh, God. There was that... I kept getting ads for it, like, years ago. This, like, Dungeons & Dragons ass-looking show or whatever that had, like, quasi-realistic characters. And it was, like, a comedy or whatever. Like, it was made to be a comedy on, like, um... I don't know, Adult Swim or something. I remember seeing so many ads for it all over YouTube and social media and shit. And I always thought it looked so rough. And I, I'm pretty sure a lot of other people remarked the same, I wanna say, but I can't remember. It's been it's been like a few years now. But it, it looked really rough. And somehow this gets this gets around it, even though I'm pretty sure it uses a similar technique, but it's just not quite like I don't know, there's there's a subtle distinction, I guess, that makes it work really fucking well here. And like I said, maybe it's just that it match it meshes so well with the aesthetic, right? The like style of all the art. I'm not, I'm not sure. But there's something there that I just can't put my finger on that makes it like so pleasing for me to look at. Right? Like it like for example, if I saw a still of this scene, I would also I would question like how is this animated and stuff, right? Like if I just saw a still of Pentiment I would wonder, like, is this animated in that shitty way that I don't like? But then seeing it in motion, it's like, oh shit, this is, a it's, it's kind of like, I don't know, it's got a visceralness or like a, there's a motion to it. I, I don't, I don't know how to explain it properly. Like I said, it's really not my wheelhouse whatsoever. Anyway, hey. Andreas. Okay. Sure. Can we look at the Roman ruins real quick? Do we think there's anything new here? Just us talking about art with, um, little, uh, whatever that kid's fucking name is. What was the kid's name? Peter? Paul. There we go. Okay. Let's head over to the meadow. Hey, Till. Anything new today? Hello, Master Muller. Hello, Till. Let's head on to the abbey. Let's see if this advances time. Because there is a world in which we do this. And meeting with the Archdeacon does not advance time. I could check the guest house. Do we think the Archdeacon is here, perhaps? No. There is that bearded dog, though. Lady Salomea. Hello, Master Muller. Okay, let's head to the Upper Abbey. There we go. Good. Convent Garden. Let's check around here. Hmm. No one. 
Okay. I forget, were they normally not out at this time anyway? Maybe that's the case. It's possible. Over here. Hey, Cecilia. What's up? God bless you, Andreas. God bless you, Mother Cecilia. Is there anything, something I can help you with? No, my apologies until later. Okay. Fair enough. Hmm. I kind of do want to follow Lucky then, right? Huh. And we do have other leads too that we didn't even get to investigate. We've got a stonemason's anger. And we've got the widow's curse. Which feels completely unrelated, right? Hmm. Maybe we investigate... I don't know. Huh. I wonder why, why the widow... Like, what the widow knows, though. Fuck it. I'm not gonna try and seek out the Archdeacon. I'm gonna try to avoid the Archdeacon if I fucking can. <laughs> Fuck it. Okay. Let's go check on the widow and them. Cause we she's the one that we know the very least about. Cause I find it uh, very unlikely that she's the one who did anything. But at the same time, she may know some very imperative information. Let's see. Hey, old Otto. Over here fishing. Good to see ya, Andreas! Old salt mine, that's not where we want to be. Though, is there anyone at the old salt mine at this time of day? There is. A mystical rabbit that overturned a mining cart to eat rocks. Okay. Let's check over here. Good. Okay, let's try... How the fuck do we even get to... Oh, there, there they are. Franz Bauer and the Widow Kemper. Okay. Oh, should we speak with them? When is the spinning bee? I look forward to seeing you at the spinning bee, Andreas. Let's get a refresh on when that is. Spinning bee. Okay. Some of the peasant women have invited me to spin wool with them and share in a little gossip about the town. I should learn something about who would have wanted to kill Lorenz. The women meet at Johann Bauer's house, just off the commons. I should let Johann know I want to attend. Okay. Who is Johann, though? Who the hell is Johann Bauer? Just off the commons. Hmm. Oh, right there. Okay. Gotcha. Hmm. We could also do that. Brigida? I would wish you a good day, Andreas, but... I fear that would be a lie. The Baron Roth Vogel was murdered at the Abbey, have you heard? Has something happened? Has something happened? Martin's gone missing. Cat is beside herself. I saw him fleeing the Abbey Thursday morning, right after Baron Rothvogel was murdered. But not you? I'm sorry to hear it. Do you know where he's gone? Do you know where he's gone? I... I'm sorry, I don't. Cat might know. He speaks more to her than he does to me. Even though I am his wife. I'm sorry. They've always been close. They've... They've had to be, to endure... Well... Perhaps I should speak to Kat, then. Maybe Franz could tell me more. Oh, is Franz, like, an abusive father or something? Is, is that what she's implying? <laughs> Maybe I'm just thinking that because she said well and is looking in his general direction right now. Okay. Perhaps I should speak to Kat, then. That might be best. I should probably get back to my chores. Franz will be angry if he sees me shirking. 
or talking to an unmarried man. Of course, God willing, Martin will come home soon. Until later, then. God willing, Martin will come home soon. He will. I must trust in Providence. Be well, Andreas. Be well, Brigida. And I wonder, do you think the Martin situation is at all linked to it? It feels entirely coincidental, but it may not be, given him hiding out. Hmm. Cat. Eh, the spinning bee. Okay. Sure. Let's head over here. Let's see. Can we investigate real quick with Attilia? Hey, Attilia. Well, if it isn't the Baron's no best friend. Nice to see you too, Attilia. Morning. Glad to find you in such a good mood. <laughs> nice to see you too. Huh, sarcasm, how original. What do you want? You must be bothering me for some reason. I wanted to ask you some questions about Lorenz Roth Vogel's murder. We've never really talked. I thought the time we get acquainted. I wanted to ask you some questions about the murder. Not the first time Perkta answered my call. You want to know what I think? I'm glad he's dead. I hope whoever killed him gets the abbot next. Maybe burns that entire abbey to the ground. And that's all I have to say about it. What did the Baron do to earn your ire? Has the abbot crossed you somehow? The life of an innocent man is at stake. One of the elderly brothers. Can't you spare me a few minutes? What did the Baron do to earn your ire? What did I just tell you, boy? I don't have anything else to say on the matter. The life of an innocent man is at stake. One of the elderly brothers. Can't you spare me a few minutes? You think I care about what happens to some old monk? Ha! <laughs> Idiot! Kill them all! See if I care. Every agent of the church should die. Where is this anger coming from? Is it something I can help with? You shouldn't talk about the church like that. You could bring inquisitors down on Tassing. Where's this anger coming from? No! Well, maybe. Don't suppose those skinny arms of yours can hold more than a paintbrush? I'm not as strong as Otto, but I can lift things and reach high places if that's what you need. Hold on. Are you asking me to do your chores? I can lift things and reach high places if that's what you need. Not often someone offers to help out old Attilia. Fine. You'll do some things for me. Maybe it'll jog my memory. But it's going to take a while. Lots of things been building up. Things I'm too old to do. You got some place to be? I have no other plans. I'm all yours for the morning. I do, actually, but I'll be back later to help. Sure you will. That's what they always say. Don't let that door hit your ass on the way out. Attilia's chores. Anything else in here I can look at while she's up? No. Hey, look. Cool S. There we go. Except it, it was backward. <gasps> Let's head over here. Ah. The spinning bee. Is this it already? Veronica, have we talked? Oh. I'll see you at the spinning bee, Andreas. I better see that skinny bottom of yours at the bee, Andreas. Hans? Hello. Hey. Look at this fucking guy over here. <laughs> Look at this little guy. Okay. I like that. Hey, Johan. Andreas. Was just wondering when you'd turn up. The gaggle said you'd come to watch him spin. Between you and me, Hattie's not about to let you go once she's cut you in her claws. So, I hope you got a few hours to hunker down and get comfortable. I'm happy to spare a few hours. I don't have the time just now. Maybe another day. Okay, let's spare a few hours. Fuck it. Hattie will be glad to hear it. She's got a fondness for you. Heaven knows why. Now, I can't let you inside among the unmarried girls, being unmarried yourself. But 
You're welcome to watch through one of the windows. You don't need to worry about me. Good. Nothing matters more for a young woman than her reputation. And Ava and Veronica won't be getting a poor one on my watch. <laughs> Look at us just watching through the fucking window. <laughs> That's so wild. Okay. Hetty says. That idiot did never did see trouble. He didn't want to jump in feet first. Veronica. You don't think he's gone to Innsbruck? Who are we talking about? Keep listening. <laughs> Can I just butt in? I, I want to butt in. <laughs> like, it just <laughs> out of the comedy of it. Who are we talking about? We were discussing my cousin Martin. Even though my mom says we're not supposed to. It's different when I do it. Oh, wait, is this chair over here legit for Ursula? Who's just kind of, like, futzing around? <laughs> it's different when I do it. Veronica, don't argue with your mother. That's not fair. And no backtalk. Laugh quietly. Frown. Keep listening. Let's frown. Don't you make faces at me. Anyway, I doubt Martin's gone, gone to Innsbruck. That's small time to the little shit now. Clara, do you think he has something more exciting in mind? Oh, cat. It's a big world. Perhaps he intends to explore it. Or escape. That nobleman was just murdered up at the Abbey. Was just murdered. Uh-oh. Martin picked up and picked an awfully convenient time to run off, so says Ava. Oh, Lord, so says Cat. Andreas was friends with the nobleman. Do you think Martin could have, you know? What motivation could Martin have possibly had? I'm not ruling anyone out just yet. I don't think this is appropriate for me to discuss. Yeah, I didn't think Martin would be guilty of it. What motivation could Martin have possibly had? My guess with Martin is that he stole shit and thought he got caught and would have it pinned on him for the murder too. So he's hiding because he's like a doofus, right? Which is just implicating him further. <laughs> okay, what motivation could Martin have possibly had? It's not our place to say. Martin has a nasty little habit. He's gotten better. Once a thief, always a thief, I say. I saw Martin running away from the Abbey the morning Lawrence was killed. Let's mention it. Martin might be a thief, but I don't think he's a murderer. He's a coward at heart. You think it takes a brave man to commit a murder? Not a brave man, but a bold one. And Martin is not that. He's your problem, Cat. What do you think? Could he have killed that man? Ellipses. Mom! This is a matter best left to the proper authorities. Not a spinning bee. Imagine being tried by a gaggle of peasant women. Huh. That's unkind, Johan. It's the truth, isn't it? Doesn't matter if it hurts your feelings. She's right, Johan. You're being unfair. Say nothing. You're being unfair, Johan. Remind me, Andreas. Whose home are we in? Oh, lay off him, Johan. Jesus! And Andreas, if you're just going to stand around, how about I put you to work? If you're going to gossip with the girls, you might as well spin with them, too. Oh, shit. Uh, how does this work? Draft wool from the distaff and twist it tight. Then spin the tight yarn onto the spindle. Oh, fuck. 
Yo, when were looms invented? Do we not have looms yet? <laughs> oh shit. Okay. Or maybe this is... This is how you get it to that point? Fuck, I don't know. I guess it would be a spinning wheel, right? Were, were spinning wheels not made yet? Surely they were. Fuck, maybe they weren't. I don't fucking know. Maybe maybe it's just that, like, they can't afford it, right? Maybe that's it. Spinning wheels were for fancy folks, right, about this time. Once there's enough yarn on the spindle, collect it at the bottom and begin again. Draft, twist, spin, collect, repeat. You'll figure it out. Okay. Good thing my hands glow. Oh, hell. <laughs> okay. And then this down here. I've got it. You know, I saw Big Yorg talking to that nun again. The young one? Heh, <laughs> who can blame him? Damn it, Johan! <laughs> Johan's such a shit eater! What the fuck? <laughs> he knows she's trouble. I told him to stay away. She's very pretty, isn't she? In a mean way? Pretty, perhaps, but a nun all the same. He knows better. Which nun? When has anything stopped Big Yorg from doing anything? When has that ever stopped Big Yorg from doing anything? We have plenty of pretty girls here in town. My Veronica's not half bad. Mom? <laughs> Let's not give Andreas any ideas, eh? <laughs> Oh, fuck. Okay, back to this, huh? There we go. And then down. Yeah. Brigida has been spending a lot of time at her mother's house lately. Agnes is glad to have her home. And Lucky's always treated her like a daughter. But I can tell they're concerned. Are Brigida and Martin having trouble, Veronica? That's one word for it. Brigida does what she can, but nothing pleases Martin. He won't lift a finger for her or Wolf. He's such an asshole. Well, that's not his business, is it? Women's work and all that. <laughs> what the fuck? You ever see him doing much men's work, Dad? Can't say I've ever seen him do much work at all. <laughs> Perhaps Lucky can talk some sense into Martin. He's always been a devoted husband and father. Lucky Steinauer is the model of what a man should be. Huh. Okay. Maybe it was Lucky who did it then. Because he felt, um, he knew about what the fuck happened and he couldn't stand the fucking injustice of it. Maybe it was Lucky. <laughs> Yo, Otto is here too. Otto, you piece of shit. Of course you're here. Is everyone behaving themselves in here? Oh, it's you. Afternoon, Otto. Come to see anyone special? Oh, hello, Otto. It's good to see you. I heard laughing from the road, and knew you all had to be up to no good in here. And look, there's Andreas. Have you been minding your manners? Old Johan here's a real stickler for propriety. I fear I've been yoked to the wheel of propriety my entire life. Just learning a new skill, Otto. Nothing nefarious here. I've mostly been listening, actually. Married to the craft. Just learning a new skill. It's true. He's been a perfect gentleman. Maybe that's why he's not married. Otto, be nice. 
Too much time with those books. Not enough time working. We all know you work hard in the fields, Johan. No need to boast. He works hard in other places, too. <laughs> Dude, Hetty is horny. <laughs> Mom. <laughs> you've been in a few months. You've been in town a few months, Andreas. Got any burning questions you've been meaning to ask? About Kearsaw Abbey. About Tassing. About Tassing. Do you see much of the monks and nuns in town? The anchoress in the church. Do you know much about her? Have you been weathering the storm? Yeah, let's ask about the anchoress. Do you know much about the anchoress? Oh, Sister Amali. Yeah, I barely got a good look at her. You know her, Veronica? We're not dear friends or anything, but something... Sometimes she has these fits, you know? And if Father Thomas isn't there, I have... And I have time. I'll wait with her until he arrives. Since when? I didn't know anything about this. Ah, and here I thought you were just... You just adored the church building. You're so funny, Veronica. Don't make it sound weird. She's nice, and sometimes... And someone should be there when she's in pain. That's all. Father Thomas told me she receives visions from God. She has been blessed by the Lord. I wonder if she may have arthritis. The joints swell and it becomes painful to move. Father Thomas suggested her body was in a great deal of physical pain, in addition to her spiritual pain. My grandmother was similarly afflicted. It was terrible for her. God rest her soul. I prefer my blessings to come in the form of golden money. <laughs> She's been in Tassing for near a decade, hasn't she? Since I was a girl, certainly. We've grown up with her in a way. The woman in the maze. It's like something from a tale of knights and monsters. She's trapped in a box. I don't think there's anything romantic about that. Aren't you a little know-it-all? I didn't realize you were an expert. Come on, Andreas. Sur surely you've got better questions than that. Okay, about the Abbey. Clara mentioned the Abbot has suddenly started raising taxes. I was told the Abbey was built on the ruins of a Roman fort. Let's talk about the taxes. Clara mentioned the Abbot has suddenly started raising taxes. Raising them and changing their terms, yes. When Father Matthias was the abbot, he would let us pay a portion of our taxes and crops. Naturally, the shit for brains abbot put an end to that this year. Even if our crops fail or produce less than we'd like, we still owe the abbey for the use of the land. It doesn't make any sense. How can he raise our taxes when the price of our, gra of our grain does not rise too? Where does he think the money comes from? He doesn't think about the common folk at all. If it's not his abbey, it's not his problem. What about the miller? Doesn't he have some part to play in that? But it isn't his problem. He's the abbot, not the mayor. What about the miller? Lenhart drives a hard bargain. He won't give us a better deal just because the abbot raises our taxes. What we need is access to more land. Trying to bargain with Lenhart won't get us at. Lenhart is not a kind man, and he does not negotiate. He might if you carry a lot of debt, but his bargains are cruel. We pay him even before the abbot, though. I'm not sh though I'm not sure why. Good. I have nothing Christian to say about Lenhard Muller. So I will say nothing at all, except that I hope he falls into a fast-moving river during a flood and dashes his brains on the rocks. Jesus Christ, Hetty. <laughs> Hetty is fun. Okay, can we talk about something else? I don't know about you girls, but I'm sick of this wool. I'm sure we've all got other chores to get to. 
I'm glad to have that over with. Now, I don't have to think about wool for a whole year. Oh, I was having such a nice time. I certainly learned a lot. Care for an escort home, Ava? I'd like that. Yes. <laughs> I expect everyone will be on their best behavior going home. They always are. Johan, please. Andreas, will I see you home for supper? Yes, I'll be there. I have something to take care of before, but I'll try to make it. Well, I'm really not sure, especially on a night like tonight. Perhaps. I'm not sure what my plans are this evening. This was very illuminating. Thank you all for letting me join you. Thank you for the invitation, everyone. Certainly an educational experience. Thank you all for teaching me. Let's thank them for teaching me. Thanks for coming by, Andreas. Come back anytime. Unless you come on Abby business. Don't threaten him. Don't threaten him with a good time, Johan. All right. Time for food. A bird in every eve. I should find someone to eat with. Hmm. Okay. Let's see. Over here. Notes on Sister Matilda. The spinning bee is complete. I attended the spinning bee at Johann Bauer's house. I gained some clarity on the various tensions in town, including that of Martin Bauer, including that Martin Bauer's a known thief, though the women agreed he likely doesn't have the temperament for murder. Yeah. Man, maybe it is lucky. Maybe lucky felt a vengeance. Okay. Hmm. Who should we eat with? We can go to the Alban Bakery. We could eat at the guest house. Yeah, of course, with the widow, the new widow. We could also go to Franz Bauer and the Widow Kemperin, Charcoal Burner, Johann Bauer Farm, the Gertner Farm. Hmm. I kind of want to go to the guest house to eat with the wife, right? I kind of want to see what that's like, but also it could be fun to check in with the Widow Kemperin. Do we eat with the Widow, or is it with Cat and Franz? Let's see. Over here. Let's check in with Attilia. Hey, Atelia. You want something? No. Well, I wanted to eat with you, but <laughs> I don't think we can. All right. Let's head on up and over this way. Church and Druckers. Yeah, I think we'll go eat with... Well, hang on. Can we eat at the mill? Huh. No, we cannot. Okay. Sure. I think let's let's eat with the Baron's wife. Maybe we can get a read on the situation a little bit clearer. Hey Till. Hello, Master Mahler. There we go. Good, and then over here in the guest house, right? Yeah. Lady Salomea. Ah, Master Mahler, would you care to share dinner at my table? I would like to talk to you about my late husband. Of course, please lead the way. Yeah, let's do it. Especially since you explicitly want to talk to me. Thank you. Please, sit. Bless us, O Lord, and these gifts, and these your gifts which we are about to receive from your bounty. 
through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Wow, look at this roast. Two of them, in fact. One for each of us. I find myself rather out of place here without the comfort of the Baron. Thank you for agreeing to share a meal with me, Master Mahler. Of course, the honor is mine. It is a terrible thing, what happened to the Baron. I must admit, I'm surprised you wish to speak with me. Lorenz did not make friends easily. He was a strong-headed man, with staunch beliefs he didn't shrink to share. Quail. A mental, ch a mental cheese and wheat bread. Okay. And frumen tea. Wow, look at this fancy shit. I'm starting on the fucking quail, baby. Wow, I only had a nibble. Okay. When I was told he'd found some manner of friendships with an artist, well, I was curious. It comforts me to know he found fellowship here at this most unusual abbey. Not that there is much comfort to be found in these cold and dreary alpine towns. Lorenz and I meant to take a tour of them before returning home to Worms, but... Yo, this dog wants some quail. Well, return we shall. I'm sorry for your loss, my lady. But not as you'd hoped. Say nothing. But not as you'd hoped. No, certainly not. It is only by Christ's grace that I will see this through. Though Lawrence has given me my fair share of troubles in the years for our marriage, I never would have wished such an end for him, for anyone. I pray his immortal soul has found the peace in death that so eluded him in life. Are you married yourself, Master Mahler? A woman waits for me in Nuremberg. When I finish my work here, we will be wed. No, truth and truth be told, I'm not looking forward to this prospect. Let's talk about Nuremberg. And Sabine, was it? Do you not look forward to the responsibilities of marriage, Master Muller? Perhaps it's no surprise you and Lorenz became fast friends. I imagine he saw something of himself in you. I hope I should meet a more peaceful end than he did. His lusts for drink and women once afflicted him with great remorse, though such shame faded with time. Lorenz was a flawed man. His various infidelities were no secret to me. But are we not all flawed before Christ? Man, we only ate, like, the wing or le yeah, the leg. Do we just not have the appetite for it, or what? Because we're used to eating small portions? Let's eat whatever this thing is. Frumenti. I loved him as a wife should properly love her husband, but I would not say that we were friends. I only hope his appetites are not what led him to this end. I've been searching for the answers to that quandary myself. Were you and Lorenz so close that you would trouble yourself so? My motivation is personal. My mentor, Brother Piero, was found with the Baron's body, but I do not believe he killed your husband. I'm afraid I can say no more than that. Let's tell the truth in this case. My mentor, Brother Piero, was found with the Baron's body, but I do not believe he killed your husband. If not him, then who? There are many possibilities, both here at the Abbey and in town. I do not wish to speak out of turn. We haven't named any names. So let's say there's possibilities, both here and at the Abbey, and and in town. Your husband managed to cultivate many enemies in his short time here. That does sound like Lorenz. He was a man of many opinions, and he gave them freely, freely to all who would listen, and some who would not. The previous abbot, Father Matthias, seemed to appreciate that about him. This new abbot is, perhaps, more conservative. Father Matthias was an open-minded man, 
from all I've heard, a true scholar. Father Gerno doesn't share Matthias' passion for the written word, yet endures the expense of it. To be put in such a position would make any man unhappy, I understand. I wonder what he will make of Lorenz's gift to the Abbey. What gift was this? It seemed to be a little thing, of more interest and value to my husband and the former abbot than Father Gano. Are you talking about the Tasse Historie? Or something else? Ah, yeah. He had found a book about the history of Tassing. He believed it contained some scandalous details. He said it corroborated fears Father Matthias had expressed, but he didn't share the particulars with me. Do you have a sense with the scandals involved? Was the appearance of the book peculiar or noteworthy in any way? Did you know Father Matthias yourself? Huh. What if the scandals in it were... Someone saw them and they were... Enough to get them to kill him? I wonder what the fuck it could be. Do you have a sense of what the scandals involved? Beyond the broad basket of Tassing's history, I cannot say. My understanding is that this community is quite old. I'm sorry, I can't be of more help. I have some education, but I lack my husband's thirst for knowledge. If you find the book, hopefully its significance will be apparent. If God wills it, nod solemnly. If God wills it. Do you plan to stay in Tassing Long? Will you be returning home to Worms soon? Do you plan to stay long? Only so long as it takes the Archdeacon to investigate my husband's murder. Though the circumstances of my time here are dire, I'm in no hurry to return. Why is that, if I may ask? Wait for her to continue. Why is that, if I may ask? I shouldn't. <laughs> I see a glimmer now of what Lorenz saw in you. You are a disarming man, Master Mahler, and much too easy to talk to. To be frank, I do not know what will become of me when I return to Worms. My title and residence may be in jeopardy. Lorenz and I have a son, but he is young yet. I don't know many of the legalities, only that my position is at some risk. You're in a difficult position, my lady. I will pray for your happiness. I suspect you'll survive just fine. I mean, I, I don't really know how it works, right? I'll pray for your happiness. Let's be kind, I guess. As will I, Master Mahler. I'm sorry to cut our conversation short, but I fear I must rest. Thank you for having me at your table. Of course, you've had a long day. Of course. With many yet to come, I fear. Be well, Master Mahler. And whatever anyone says of my husband, I'm certain he appreciated your friendship. Huh. Jacob has arrived, it says at the top right. I need to go to the chapter house to meet with the Archdeacon. Oh, man. Let me pet you bearded dog for good luck. There we go. Alright, well, hopefully this is enough luck. Because when next we come back, we will meet with the Archdeacon. I would do it now, but it sounds like something that will take a lot of time and be quite involved, right? It feels as though we will have more time with the Archdeacon here, but we may only have like a day's time. I'm not sure. It'll, I'm super curious as to how it will go, right? And we've really come up with not much. Right, we don't have really anything solid. We just have hunches and leads. Ugh, fucking rough. Alright, until next time, please take care of each other.